Want to know how to read digital scale grams? Remember, learning how to use a gram scale and measuring is essential knowledge. But before that, scale in grams is part of our everyday lives for centuries. Not only that but used to measure your weight and measure your ingredients for cooking and even for groceries. Reading digital scale grams. Learning to do this is easy and attainable. Likewise, reading a gram scale regardless of the weighing tool is important. Because of that, there are different scales to weigh grams. People used the triple beam scale before when building the pyramids. After that, people used battery-operated digital scales. And people used the mechanical ones to measure your weight or objects. But we will be focusing on the digital scale. Digital scales are the most used and common type of scales today since they are precise. Besides, using them takes less effort than other scales. What does a gram appear like on a digital scale? Utilizing a digital scale is more accurate in terms of reading compared to an analog scale. In this regard, a gram is indeed equal to one of a thousandth in a kilogram. A gram should weigh one gram when using a digital scale. However, if your scale uses another unit of measurement like ounces, a gram will be 0.0357 ounces. Quantity measurement on a digital scale, two important factors. The accuracy of the digital scale you use. If you utilize a 100% accurate digital scale, a gram will be exactly one gram in measurement. However, if you use a digital scale that is 95% accurate, then a gram would measure between 0.95 to 0.98 grams. The unit in which it measures that particular quantity. A digital scale that measures in ounces will measure a gram as 0.3537 ounces. So with that, accuracy and unit decide how much a gram measures on a digital scale. How to read digital scale grams. Step 1. In weighing a certain item, make sure that you place your digital scale on a leveled surface. Doing this ensures that it comes up with an accurate measurement. For that reason, some scales do not function unless you place them on a flat surface. Step 2. After that, place the item on the platform of your scale to measure it. Keep in mind that the screen of your digital scale will show the exact weight of your item. In that regard, this process could take a couple of seconds. The main reason is that the digital number can waver many times before it eventually settles. Because of that, ensure that the surface where you place your digital scale is not windy. Bear in mind that wind may affect the scale, thus causing the scale measurement to waver. Step 3. Finally, once the measurement displayed in your digital scale settles, read your measurement. With that, the digital scale weighs a tenth of a gram in whole grams. Also, if your reading comes out as 3.05, it means that it is 3.5 over 10 in grams. How to read kitchen scales in grams. Using digital kitchen scales for your recipes is very useful and stress-free. Besides, using a digital kitchen scale enables you to add your ingredients to the mixing bowl quickly and accurately. How to use your digital kitchen scale. Step 1. Before anything else, turn on your digital kitchen scale by pressing the power button. Step 2. Then, set your kitchen scale to the unit of measurement that your recipe requires. With that, you can perform this by pressing the mode button or unit button. After that, press the button until the display shows the unit measurement that you like. Step 3. Afterward, place your container or mixing bowl on top of your digital kitchen scale. So with that, you will be able to see the measurement of the bowl that will register on display. Then, press the zero or tear button to remove the weight of your mixing bowl or container. As a result, the display will be back to zero. Step 4. After that, Add the ingredient that you want to measure into the mixing bowl. If you follow a recipe, you can add the first ingredient. If the correct amount of weight displays, stop. However, if you added too much, do not panic and scoop out a little until it becomes the correct amount. Step 5. Then, press the tear button again to make it zero. Or to zero out the weight of the ingredient that you added. Step 6. After that, add the next ingredient to your recipe. 
Because of this, repeat the tearing process if needed when adding the next ingredient in the recipe you follow. Step 7. Lastly, measure the next ingredient and continue doing this for the rest of your recipe. Remember, you can switch the scale back and forth between ounces and grams if needed. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.